Come on, let, let's take a look at this real quick. As you can see on the left side of the screen, it says broken. And on the right side, it says fixed. What you also might notice is you get lower FPS on the left side versus the right side. Obviously, we're going to get into that. But what's really weird about this whole scenario is that this is the exact same system. The Ryzen 5800X3D as well as using the Radeon 7800XT, which is a very capable 1440p graphics card. But we're also seeing a 30% boost to the 1% lows. And if we drop it down to 1080p, this might be a little hint for you guys of what's going on. 15% faster on the average, but 53% faster with the 1% lows. I also came across this in Spider-Man Miles Morales. At 1440p native on the high settings, we got a 15% boost on the right side as well as a 11% boost to the 1% lows. And we see even more weirdness when it comes to more than just gaming, when it comes to productivity. In Blender, why was this 5800X3D eight core processor rendering at about the same speed as a 12 core 5900X. I had to show you guys this so you can understand what the effects of this issue is because this could be happening to you and you don't even know. It was happening to me and I didn't even know and I'm kind of kicking myself about it. And this all might be because Windows is stupid. And before you go sounding off and going crazy, let me explain. And the main culprit is that CPU usage. The total percentage of how hard the CPU is working on the left side, you can see is a lot higher than on the right where it's fixed. And you might think that, oh, the left side is working harder, but it's not actually exactly the case because this is the percentage of the total amount that the CPU is actually outputting and working in the system. And when you have less cores in the system, but it's still using the, the, all the cores it can, then you actually will get a lower percentage even on the same CPU. And that's actually what we're seeing here. We're not using two of the cores that are on this eight core 5800X3D processor. And if you go into Ryzen Master, this is a software that you can use with Ryzen CPUs to do some like overclocking and stuff like that. This is where I first noticed this issue. And two of the cores are literally asleep, y'all. <laughs> It's funny because when you go into task manager, you can see that Windows is completely aware that this is an eight core processor. It's saying it only has six cores. Um, I just got a cat that jumped on me. I guess she'll stay for the recording. But if you go into device manager, why is it using only six of the cores when it knows that if you count this up, this counts to 16 cores. Okay. What is going on? Probably one of the most bizarre things that you'd ever think. Now I have an eight core processor in my system, the 5800X 3D, but I actually originally didn't have that. I had a 5900X, which is a 12 core processor. Yes, 12 core processor. But even before that, my original processor was a Ryzen 5 1600. Okay, and this is a six core processor. It still thinks this processor is in the system, even though it clearly says at every point in Windows that it has a 5800X3D eight core processor in the system. Windows is being funny. How do you fix it? And this is actually a pretty simple solution. Oh my God. If you run into the situation and if you're seeing your CPU come up as less cores, you need to go into MS config. Here is what this looks like. Ignore everything else. We want to go to boot. And in the boot one, we see advanced options. Okay, that's what you want to click on. And this is how easy this is. Number of processors. If you click this drop down menu, you can see that my cores or logical cores in this case, capping out at 12, which would mean I have a six core processor. Obviously I have an eight and this should go up to 16. All you need to do is just uncheck this box. It's as simple as that. Just uncheck the box, do this. You just press okay. And then you press apply and then okay. And it's going to ask if you want to restart. You have to restart in order to apply this change. Okay, just restarted Windows and let's go ahead and see what happened. So we see that we got an eight core processor and right here, it's actually showing up eight cores and 16 logical cores. Yay. So it just takes that one simple fix and let's go to MS config and you can see when we go to advanced options, it ends up looking like this. And if you do tick this box and do the drop down, it shows 16 threads now. 
um, it actually realizes how many threads are in the processor. Uh, you would think Windows knows that, but maybe Windows doesn't. So this is a really dumb issue that I don't think anyone should have to deal with, but for some reason it could happen to you if you upgrade your CPU. Or it might even happen to you if you don't. If you've had this issue come up, or if you just realize you are having this issue, please comment below. Just like spread the word on this because especially with how demanding games are on your CPU now, nowadays, things are expensive and money is tight. And you, if you're literally buying a processor, like I got this 5900X in September of 2022, obviously it's 2023 now. This has 12 cores and I was upgrading it from the six, Ryzen 5 1600, a huge upgrade. But I was only using six cores of this. I was only using half of what's available. Yes, the single core performance was better. A lot of you guys might be upgrading your CPUs and literally never getting the full potential out of it. And that's why in a lot of the games, you know, the 5800X 3D, it's eight cores. Most games are actually only using about six and it doesn't seem like significantly, like without using all eight cores, it was impacting the performance a whole lot. I mean, we saw with the 1% lows in a lot of games, they were pretty drastic. And that's probably because the other two cores that would be on the CPU would typically be running background processes and not letting it interfere with the FPS. When it comes down to it, I just wanted to make you guys aware of this so you can fix it because I could only find this issue on like a very obscure forum thread on the internet. I don't know how more people don't know about this. So hopefully this helps you and you can get the most out of your CPUs and your system. Hopefully you'll be happier. But also for everyone who's sticking around, Obviously you might be thinking, and I completely don't blame you whatsoever. I've talked about CPU performance in my videos. I've benchmarked graphics cards on my videos and all this time I have had this issue going on on my system where I've actually only been using six cores with my 5900X and with my 5800X 3D. Up to this point in time, if I saw it was CPU limited, I always tried to mention it to you guys to show that it isn't that it isn't really impacting the numbers a whole lot. What the real problem is, is in videos where I've talked about, oh, CPU performance is becoming like more important than your GPU because games are so freaking demanding with CPUs. Still with those videos, I'm holding my ground. I still agree that games are very CPU demanding and your CPU, you know, I was basically running a six core processor and a lot of people are on the six core processor. You know, you can't run background applications as well. And that means that you do get stutters and stuff like that. So CPU performance is still very important, though in my case, it probably wouldn't have been as severe with my 5800X 3D. But I still think a lot of the points I made in those videos completely stands. I try my best and I'm learning, obviously. <laughs> see anything obvious in my videos that can help me benchmark, make sure to leave it below and see if I can implement it. Sometimes not everybody's right though, I will say. <laughs> It's kind of funny. I was confused and hopefully this helps you if you're seeing bad CPU performance. I just want you guys to get the most for your money. That's been it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.